Good morning, everybody. How, how's everybody doing today? You're good. You're good. All, right, all right. All right. Yay. Good. Thank you. So today we're going to go over CB Desk and Moxie Works. So what is Moxie Works? Everybody hears about Moxie. Moxie Works is a, is a suite, just like uh, like uh, like Microsoft. And within Microsoft, you have Excel, Word, PowerPoint. So Moxie Works is the same thing. Excuse me. So uh, inside Moxie Works, we have different apps or tools that agents will call them. And one of those tools is called Present, Moxie Present. So that's what we're going to go over today, okay? So, so we'll get into that in just a second. But before we do that, I want to go over uh, uh, CB Desk how, and, and how to uh, access CB Desk, navigate CB Desk, add or remove tiles, rearrange uh, uh, and organize your tiles, search for a tile. And also, if you don't find a tile, uh, how to get help. Okay, just know this, that I can't add tiles for you, okay? I can give you access to certain um, applications or apps or tiles, but those have to be added through CB Desk Help, okay? Um, and I'll show you where to where you can get that help on CB Desk. I'm going to start from the basics, logging in and all that. If you guys want to write down this number, I know it by heart already, and you guys are probably going to get to that point as well. It's 866-533-8995, okay? That's the CB Desk helpline, okay? You could also uh, uh, open a ticket. It's called a ticket when you need to, like, uh, add a tile or you need something done. They're always going to open a ticket. Um, I find it it's best to call them and not generate a ticket through through online or that uh, chat box, which I'll go over in, in when we get into that. So once again, 866-533-8995. Uh, this is also going to be sent out too, so don't worry. You could get that uh, number even on CB Desk. Um, but just know, I cannot add tiles for you. I get a lot of agents calling me saying, hey, I, I need this tile added. And I, I, I just re keep referring them to CB Desk Help. So, so you're going to have to contact them, okay? Now, before we dive into CB Desk, I want you guys to do not, do not confuse CB Desk with CBC Desk. Now, CBC Desk is the commercial desk um, uh, portion of, of CB Desk, okay? Um, now, regarding CBC Desk, if you guys have already emailed me, and, and most of you are on the list to attend the upcoming commercial classes, then you've already been granted uh, C, uh, access to CBC Desk. You're not going to see a tile for CBC Desk, but basically it's going to allow you to have all the, the commercial tiles. So if you see tile, commercial tiles like demographics, uh, build out, CBC dash, if you're seeing those on your uh, on your CB desk, that means you already have been granted access, okay? In addition to that, if you've emailed me and you're on the list, uh, mm -hmm. then you've already been designated as a residential and a commercial uh, uh, agent. So, so you don't have to worry about that and have also been granted access to CBC desk, okay? I just wanna, reiterate that because I'm getting calls every day regarding this. So I want to make sure that everybody understands it's easier for me to com communicate to the masses than to individuals all day. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started on uh, uh, for CB desk, not CBC desk, but CB desk. So you know how to uh, access it, log on, because this is how you're going to have, this is where you're going to have access to all your commercial tiles. So it's very important. Okay. So uh, does everybody see my screen here? Yes. Okay. Yes. So basically just open up another browser. See right here where I have all my favorites? It's a good practice for you to do that because these are the ones I use every day, okay? So it's easier than going in here and typing it and going through all those credentials. You basically just see where it says CB Desk. You could do this to your computer too, and it logs me right in. 
I have it logging me right in so I don't have to constantly put in my password. Um, periodically, they're going to ask for your password because it's just a security feature, but it just makes my life easier. So here you're going to see a lot, all your tiles. These are This is considered your dashboard, okay? And this is all your, your, your tiles that uh, both commercial and regular, okay? Let me just move this over here. Um, this is Moxie Works. We're going to get into that in just a bit, okay? But before that, I want to make sure that you guys look at these tiles. And this tile right here, demographics, you, do, you will need for the commercial class, okay? Uh, the other one that you're going to need is the one right below it, which is build out. Okay. I spoke to Josh yesterday and he told me that uh, these are the two uh, most important ones that you're going to need. But since you're talking to CB Desk help already, have them put all the commercial ones there. Here's CBC brand serve. You see where it says brand serve here? And then this says CBC brand serve. Anytime you see a, a C behind it, that means it's commercial. So you might as well get Commercial Edge. You might as well get CBC Dash. Uh, just ask them for all of them. Commercial University, this is another important one because this is where you're gonna go back to uh, um, the videos or Learning Center um, uh, programs. So a lot of these tiles are in the development stage still too. So just bear with, with uh, Home Office because they're just now getting into uh, promoting and pushing agents to go into the commercial uh, uh, real estate. So, so they're not all going to be fully functional. On a side note, you see this right here, listing concierge. That's an exciting tile. There's, it's not launched yet, but we're hoping to have it launched by the end of this month. And we're going to have a session on that as well. But that's, that's a very exciting tool that agents are going to be able to utilize. Okay. All right. So that, that is pretty much accessing your, your uh, CB desk. Now, remember if you're, a lot of agents have never logged into CB desk. And if you haven't, um, you have to log in with your Coldwell Banker credentials. That's your Coldwell Banker email, okay? And if you don't, if you forgot your password, uh, you're gonna have to email me and I'm gonna send you uh, um, a reset email so you can reset your password, okay? But uh, if you yeah, have not back. logged into CB Desk, you're gonna have to do it through your Coldwell Banker email uh, credentials, okay? Hey, Ruben, question, Chair. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I put a ticket for requesting for commercial uh, agent title. Is that correct? I did uh, send a ticket for, uh, yeah, so asking for to add commercial title agent. Is that is all what I need to, uh, to say, or I have to put yeah. all these uh, titles, commercial ed, but no, no? I, yes, Jeff, so so you're not a commercial, you don't have a title for commercial, you're just designated as a commercial agent, okay? So don't Correct. get too confused. But Correct. yes, you're already designated as a commercial agent. You should have those titles. Have you checked, Jeff? Uh, I have to... Uh... They, they replied to me. Uh, they replied to me to. Uh, well, they, 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 uh, they take a reply to me that they want to clarify. So I told them I want both commercial uh, residential agent, specifically add commercial agent tiles. Yeah. So that's why I'm going through this, Jeff. So just let's let's okay. try to. Uh, 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 but yes, you are a uh, commercial and a uh, uh, residential. You're residential by default. So, but you're you're you are a commercial uh, designated as a commercial agent. Okay. Okay. So, so once what once they what excuse me once they we we have that resolved by this uh, CBDS people, it will this will show the titles here will show right. No. That's nope. why I explained it just right before uh, uh, once the meeting started. I designate you as a commercial and residential agent. I also grant you access to CBC desk, okay? But that's not going to give you the tiles automatically. You're going to have to call CBDS, CBC desk help, and they are the only ones that can add those applicant those tiles these are tiles guys okay so where do you go for help you see this little heart right uh, i'm sorry little question mark right here 
Yes. Click on that. And then, like I said, you can open a ticket for whichever one you want. There's Moxie, there's Coldwell Banker, uh, whichever, whichever item that you need help with, that's where you would create a ticket. But I'm telling you, it's better if you just call them. It's easier, okay? Because this gets lost in the shuffle and ends up taking a, a week or two weeks for them to resolve a ticket. If you call them, it's usually resolved within 24 hours, okay? Okay. And that number again is 866-533-8995. Okay, yeah, Golden, but it's it's a it's a it's a uh, uh, it's a voice answering, you know, directing you. Yeah, it's a live person. Get a ticket. And yes, I'm trying to do that. Okay, got you. Okay, so we're going we're going to go back to these tiles, okay? Now, if you don't just because they added the tile to your CB desk doesn't mean that you're going to have you're going to see it okay and if you don't see it you can add it right here you see where it says my apps it says add an app and it also has it all the way in the bottom where it has a little plus sign right here okay if you click on that it's going to give you all the available tiles that are currently not on your dashboard so I'll repeat that these are all the available tiles that are not currently on your on your dash this is your dash okay now if i wanted to eliminate one let's just say i wanted to eliminate um a social ad engine right you could just take it out it doesn't go away for forever you just go back and then it's here if you want to add it back on so don't worry about deleting tiles uh, uh they're not going to be gone forever However, I like to keep it nice and simple and organized and stuff. So that's I wanted to show you how to do that too, because once you log on to your dash, we want to have everything that you're working on, you know, within the first page and at the top. So you could move them as much as you want. You see? Oh, let me go back. You can move them as much as you want. Move that over here. On another note, this brand serve tile is going to be uh, eliminated, I think, on the 28th of February. So there's only a couple more weeks, and this is going to be gone. What replaced it is this one right here, Marketing Center. This is going to be all, all your digital assets, okay? All your social media, uh, photography, logos, all that stuff. Anything that was in BrandServe is going to be now in the Marketing Center, okay? Currently, right now, they're having a bunch of classes on Marketing Center. So you should go on to CBU right here, CBU, and um, and register for those classes, okay? I'm doing the same thing. Okay, so that we we learned how to access desk, navigate CB desk, add and remove tiles, rearrange and organize tiles, search for a tile, you can search for a tile right here, okay? You just punch it in and then if it's available, then, then it'll pop up, okay? And then how to get some help. You go through, you go right here, okay? All right, pretty, pretty, uh, every, any questions on that? It's pretty simple, right? Okay. Well, Ruben, I have a question. I use uh, Gmail for all my Coldwell Banker stuff. Will that still work or do I have to get a, a CB George or CB uh, email? Well, you do have a Coldwell Banker email because I see it. I see it when I email you. I just emailed you and it said, Cold, uh, Frank, uh, I think yeah. Franco Ramirez, Dr. Ramirez said. Okay, so that's an important. That's something that I'm glad you brought up, Franco. Uh oh. So every every agent has a Coldwell Banker email, whether you like it or not. Now, if you don't use it, um, it's a good it's good practice to uh, uh, call uh, call CB Desk help again. And then I think the prompt is going to be two for, for uh, email support and have them forward those emails to your Gmail. That's what I did. I don't use the Coldwell Banker uh, email. However, if you if you print business cards or any type of literature and you want to look more professional, right, you can utilize the frank.ramirez at coldwellbanker.com. I don't know if that's the proper email. Yeah, or not. That's what I'm just... already doing. It, everything gets shifted over to the Gmail account. Then, then you're good. Then you're okay. good. But right. for those who are not utilizing the Coldwell Banker email, 
just let, I'm letting you know that you can do that. You have to call. It takes about 40, 48 hours for them to process the request, but then all their emails from the Coto Banker email will be tr will be forwarded to your Gmail, and then you just manage it with one account, which is your Gmail. Okay. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna go into. Uh, let's see. I got my notes here. Hello, Ruben. Yes. Uh, can you tell me how to fix the the uh, what what is the number to call for to uh, uh, to convert that that email to your Gmail? The number? Yeah, the the the, the eight hundred number for. Okay. That. Once again, it's uh, 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 Edgar. Are you still there? Yes. I'm gonna put it in the chat box as well. Okay, but it's eight six six five three three five three three. Eight nine nine five. Okay, put that in your telephone. Okay, I I call them probably like two three times a week, so they can help you with with almost anything that you need. All right. Okay. So so Jen Jen put. Could you let us know which tiles you would be needed on February sixteenth? Okay. Once again, the tiles that you will absolutely need for uh, the commercial sessions, the upcoming commercial sessions is demographics, build out. However, if you're already gonna call them to add those tiles, have them add CBC brand, commercial edge, uh, and CBC dash. So have them add all of your commercial tiles. Why not, right? And then there's commercial university. So demographics, commercial university, build out CBC brand serve and CBC dash. I also in my previous email had had cut and paste a picture of all these tiles. So it's very important when you when you guys get a uh, email from either myself or CBGR marketing team that you guys read it thoroughly and 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 understand the email because it's I'm constantly repeating myself and it, it, it's uh, you know, it sh it, that shouldn't occur and stuff. But uh, so again, these are the tiles you you will need. Okay. All right. So does every everybody understand? Thank you, oh, by, the way, by the way, Josh Best, which is going to be our uh, host for for the commercial classes, he sent out an email. Um, I believe early uh, late last <laughs> late yesterday or early this morning, but it was incorrect. So he corrected it with a new email with the registration. So make sure you guys reg register for the, the, the correct one. I think it had to do with a time zone. Uh, he's in the East Coast and it, the, uh, the meetings didn't convert to Pacific Standard Time, okay? All right, um, so we're gonna move on, okay? We're gonna move on to MoxieWorks now, okay, guys? So when you go to MoxieWorks, hang on one second, yeah. So when, when you go into MoxieWorks, again, this is the uh, this is the suite, okay? With it, and once you go into MoxieWorks, you're going to see this is considered your dashboard, okay, for the Moxie suite. And if you go up here to the very top where my little cursor is at, these are your apps, okay? The hub is just what you see right here, which is like your dashboard, which has your profile, your MLS, your office. It's good to check it out, make sure everything's proper. Uh, just note that some of the information on your profile, you're not gonna be able to change, okay? So don't be alarmed if you're trying to change your bio. Some of the names were wrong. I had to fix a name yesterday. Um, and and uh, other information, like maybe your phone number was incorrect. You're gonna have to let me know, and then I have to do it through an admin, um, dashboard okay um but it's very important because whatever you have here in your profile is what's going to show up on your all your marketing materials and it's also what's going to show up in your website okay uh and this is we're going to go into your website another session but every agent should have a website it's free and it's easy but i'm not going to go over that today but check you you should check all this out make sure it's it's properly um uh, your information is accurate and stuff. Now, one thing I do want to say is if you click on MLS, if you don't see anything here, then that means your your all of this these applications 
are not going to function properly or to its full potential. These apps are very powerful and they're linked to the MLS, okay? It gives the, the, your clients the capabilities of searching for properties and it also gives you capabilities to run reports. Without the MLS connected, you're not gonna have the functionality that, it, it, that, that it's for its purpose, okay? So make sure if you don't have an MLS account, like for instance, Edgar, Edgar has, uh, uh, um, has access to all of this, but he doesn't have an MLS account. So he's not gonna have full functionality of, of the applications. All right. So up here are what you consider apps or some agents call them tools, whichever you wanna call it. Okay, today we're gonna to go over present. Okay, so I'm gonna click on present. Now this is, I guess what you would call your dashboard, your personal dashboard for present, okay? So um, these are the ones I've been working on. I'm gonna show you one in particular that I just did yesterday for a client. Um, but before we do that, I wanna show you, I'm gonna go through it at my speed because I wanna show you how efficient this application is, how powerful, how beautiful it is, and the, the potential of, of setting your side above, setting yourself above the, the, the competition and stuff. Because I know for certain that a lot of agents are not doing this. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back and do it in, in slower so everybody understands, but I want to I want you to I want to show you, show everybody that how fast you can get this done. Okay. So I'm gonna create new. I'm gonna do a seller's presentation which is a CMA. I'm gonna do a broker template. I'm gonna prepare it for, uh, let's just say uh, Brenda Moore. It's not a real person, but that's the person that you're gonna present it to, okay? And here we go. So just for the sake of, uh, if this is like a uh, pro tip, I'm gonna search a certain property that I know just hit that just uh, went off the market, but I am going to get this MLS number, copy it, go back to Moxie, paste it, copy it. What this what this is doing is importing all the data imagery from the MLS. Okay, I know this house just sold, but I'm using it as an example because it's a pro tip. Even if a house sold like five, seven years ago, you're able to pull in all the data other than if, you know, like for instance, if I wanted to do a CMA, do this report for my father's home, you know, I hadn't been sold since I was two years old. So there isn't any, there isn't any data on the MLS. So you're going to have to actually input all the information like the, the you know, area, uh, single family residence, three bedroom, two bath. But for the sake of this, it's a pro tip. You can get all this information rather quickly than, than putting it in. The only thing you have to really do is delete all the remarks because this is the agent that listed it. That's their remarks. Then you press continue. Now it's searching. It's searching the MLS. That's why it's connected to the MLS, right? So I'm just going to, for the sake of just an example, I'm just going to pick one, two, two sold, one pending, uh, let's see, one active, and let's go from, uh, let's just do this one too, all right? You, uh, an agent would actually go into it and see, okay, this is a good comp, this is a good comp, the date, the size, but I'm not doing that right now, I'm just showing you, okay? So now it's giving you a breakdown of what we what the agent chose, right? It's giving you the low, the average, the high. Here's all the comps that you you pick. If you if you want to add a custom listing, you can add a custom listing, not off market or for FISBO or whatever. Okay. For the sake of this, I'm just going to press continue. All right. Now this is what it's saying. You can edit this, but it's saying okay, based on this criteria, this is what we're going to present to the seller that. This is what I recommend, 1.385, okay? You could change that based on your opinion, okay? This is what you're gonna, uh, what you're gonna present though. And then if you wanna put any remarks, you put them there. 
net proceeds, this is a powerful tool, you know, estimated sellers just put, we're going to go with, whoops, 1380 mortgage. Let's just say they, this information you're going to already have because you've already uh, spoken to the, uh, to the seller. So you kind of know what they owe and stuff like that. And let's just go with that, okay? There you go. It's done. You want to, if you want to view it, uh, web view. This is what you'll send to the seller via email. And when you get it via email, even on your on your phone, it's a phenomenal. And each one you can go into. You see? Fully branded. There's all the comps. Side by side comparison. I guarantee you, a, probably 70% of the agents, they don't use this one. They use probably the iCloud. The uh, what cloud CMA off of uh, the, the your CR, uh, CRMLS account and stuff, which is is it's it's a great uh, great CMA, but nothing compared to this. When you actually when your client actually gets this, and here's your here's their estimated net proceeds, and then it's all branded and stuff. When your client actually gets this, I mean they're they're going to be very impressed. Okay, so. Even if you're farming and you got emails of, you know, some absentee owners or 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 um, whatever farm you're farming to to try to get sellers, think about how many CMAs you can send. You can call your title company and get emails for potential prospects. One day you could probably knock out fifty of these if you really wanted to and stuff, you know. And if one or two uh, hit, I mean that's good enough, right? And then also you can you can uh, do a print portrait or print landscape. So you could also print it as a as a, a PDF as well. So so this is a very very powerful tool. These pages over here, you can add pages too. You can move them around too. Like let's say agent profile. I don't want that one. Delete it. If you want to add it back on, add from library. And there's there's your uh, these are all your your libraries. So we'll add that one back in, right? And you go to pages, agent profile. Now this one I don't want it there, right? So just move it. You move it to the very end. Whoops, didn't go. And there you go. Now I'll go over it again, but right here where it says add page. You can add from your library. Your library is like, for instance, I did a commercial presentation on this, um, which the commercial presentations don't have the capabilities like residential because on a residential basis, it's pulling data from your MLS. On a commercial basis, it has nowhere to pull data from. It, it, you know, unfortunately, there's no uh, relationship between like CoStar and, and Moxie Present. So it, it has to be done manually. But if you have, uh, let's say you have CoStar and you create a presentation, right, a CMA to present to a potential seller of, of a commercial property, you could dump that CMA up to, I think, 99 pages into this uh, uh, application, into uh, uh, Moxie Present, and present it still digitally with your brand to the potential seller. So... Uh, until we have the capabilities of of uh, relationship between a like commercial MLS to to these applications, that's that's the best we're going to be able to do. I'm going to show you that commercial presentation in just a bit, but before we do that, I want to show you what you can do when you add and create a new page. You can do a, you can upload PDFs, which I'm going to show you what I just uh, uploaded, and then also you can build a page. Well, by building a page, you could do a number of things and stuff. So let me go back to my, I'm going to close out Moxie, close out this. I'm going to go back to Moxie Works. I'm 
I'm gonna go back to engage, I'm sorry, to present. And uh, this one, where is it? This one right here. So this one I did yesterday and I wanted to give you guys an example of what is, uh, you know, what you can potentially do to customize it, okay? Maybe there's another Coldwell Banker uh, agent that's uh, 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 courting the same seller and you know that's your competition. Well, you can do so this is this is the same type of CMA as you just saw, right? However, look at I added this. Why Coldwell Banker? How did you add that? So that video was branded for Coldwell Banker, George Realty, and, and also myself. So you're branding not only your brokerage, you're branding yourself as well. So I added that video, okay? I also added this. Uh, this is just an example. You could create your... Whatever whatever literature flyer you want to promote yourself, because a CMA you're promoting the house, not really yourself. So you want to put something that's going to make you shine in the presentation. So I just did put this together really quick. I did it through Canva, and then I created it as a PDF, and then I I I added this page through through over here, right here, where you where I'll get to that where you add a page. So basically, I'm just saying. The, the previous uh, page said, why Coldwell Banker? And now it says, why Ruben Perez? And then I you know, kind of put this together really quick and stuff. And then it goes into the CMA. But you're highlighting before the seller goes into the presentation on his house that or his property that he's selling, he's going to have to go through uh, a small, I wouldn't put a long video or, or four or five pages about yourself there. One page will do and a small little clip, you know, maybe five, 10 seconds or so. But the seller is going to go through why he should, he or she should choose Coldwell Banker and or George Realty and why he should choose your services over Keller Williams or or Remax or whatever. So it gives you a little bit more of an edge. It also shows it also shows you your capabilities of marking the property should you win the listing. So so understanding that you're so if you look at the uh, why the number 4 is professional marketing including a unique web property website videos and and virtual tours with global reach. So right then and there it's going to show like okay well, this is how he's going to market my, he or she is going to market my, my property to sell. So it's a very powerful tool. Then obviously he's going to go into his, uh, um, his uh, CMA that was generated specifically for, the, for his property. And this one is an actual CMA that I did for a client yesterday. So you can see it's, it's pretty, it's, it's just the same as I just showed you. Now, before I go to questions, I wanna show you one last one. So remember I told you about a commercial presentation. We don't, on, we don't have the uh, ability to communicate with, with a data uh, uh, company like MLS on a commercial basis. So you would have to import your, um, your presentation, but it could be done. So here's one that I did. This is actually uh, Steve Hayashi's. And there you go. This is the uh, commercial presentation. You just go through it. And that's it. That's the commercial uh, presentation. So all, all this was imported as a PDF file. Now, why do it? Because you already, you know, created a um, kind of like a, well, it's a it's an OM offering uh, offering memorandum 
Well, because now you can email it digitally with, and, and it's branded to your name. So that's 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 why I like Moxie Present, not just because you know it has the presentation, but the capabilities. Here's a land development one. This is a pocket listing of, of someone in the offer in the office. And then you see it's co-branded. I kind of did it just a, as an example. You could do it with two people. And then you have the capabilities. So this I did through brand uh, to build out. Okay. So with the commercial class that we're going to be taking uh, in uh, starting next week, this is what he's going to go over is these uh, uh, presentations commercially and stuff. So again, you take the PDF commercial, uh, the commercial presentation on a PDF format and you drop it into presentation. And then you have the capabilities of emailing it and marketing it digitally instead of, you know, sending it as an attachment. Uh, and it's also branded again. And also there's another, um, there's something else you can do too. Like for instance, let's just say I did this, uh, I just made this one today, right? This Mayfair Drive, right? You could actually assign it too. So if I did it for, and I want to assign it to Oscar or to whoever, to Peter, let's just say I, I want to assign it to Peter. Um, I could just click assign. I'll go here, put Peter. Let's see if it pops up. It should pop up. Let me put... Uh, Let's say um, Oscar. It's not showing up. It should have. Oh, you have to hit search. So there they are. So let me put Peter again. I'm going to sign it. Peter, you're gonna have uh, uh, this presentation in your, so I signed it. It's gone, it's gonna, watch, if I refresh, it's gone. You see the tile's gone. It's no longer there. It's in Peter's folder. Peter, you can just trash it after where you're done. It was just an example. Oh, okay, no problem. But what that happens, what happens now is that it's the same report, but now it's in Peter's name. It's branded in Peter's name. So, so I have, anybody has the capabilities of, of, of creating it, co-branding it with two different agents or assigning it to the agent that's actually going to be presenting it and stuff. So you have those capabilities too. You could also save these. Uh, let's just say Jose Prado, you know, um, I'm courting him, you know, this week I have an appointment and he says, you know what? Um, I'm I'm gonna wait. Well, as long as you save this in your in this da your dashboard, if you come back to it six months down the road, let's say Jose calls me and says, "Hey, Ruben, you know what? I want to revisit it. I'm thinking about selling it now." So you just click it back on and just pull new comps, and you got to you have a whole brand new updated CMA because it's going to communicate to the MLS for updated new data. So you don't have to redo the whole. Uh, uh, the whole uh, uh, presentation all over again. So it, it'll update itself. Or if you save it for years, which you could possibly do, I'm not sure of those capabilities, but if that's possible, then you can send your, your client uh, uh, updated CMA annually just to let them know what their, their value is. Who knows? Maybe in two years they want to upgrade or down or, or downgrade or or their situation changed and they want to sell maybe they're moving but you know it's it's a good way for you to keep uh, top of mind with them and periodically send them a CMA you know uh again it, it takes you five minutes to do to do it and stuff you know so um Ruben I have a question yeah are, are those uh the CMA updated in real time Yes, they are. And then, and in other words, you don't you don't really have to to tell them to redo your CMA. It, it, it's automatically in in your presentation, and when you click it back, it's uh, automatically be uh, updated for you in the message. Well, you you do have to update it, Peter, because remember you you as an agent 
are choose you do have to update it because remember you as an agent are choosing which comps to use so if if yeah. you keep it the same it's going to use a outdated comp because it's going to be six months old so but if if you refresh it once you get back into the uh into the uh uh presentation like if i get into this presentation let's say jose prado was a, uh, a presentation i did six months ago right Mm -hmm. When I go back into it, I can refresh it and choose new comps. But that's the okay, only right. step that you, that's the okay, only Yeah, step okay. That's, that's, that's what I mean. That if you are satisfied with your old comp and if it's not, uh, at the elapsed time is not very, uh, very big, you know, say within, within a, a week or two weeks, then uh, you don't have to really have to go back to the CMA and refresh all the, 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 the choices that you have made, right? Correct. Okay. This, this this is uh this was only an example of you know uh revisiting a a potential prospect that was put on hold. Let's just say, and and you're gonna go back and see six months later if they're ready to sell now. Obviously, you know you you don't want to use a six month old comp when there's more recent comps and stuff. Right. right. But but it, it. what's that gonna take you, Peter? Maybe two minutes. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Right. You're right. Got it. So, um, that's that's pretty much everything that uh, I wanted to go over. Do you guys want me to go over it one more time in a little bit slower speed, or do mm -hmm. you guys all understand it? Go okay. over it again and slower. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let me ask you: Does anybody have? a current listing that they have not created one of the CMAs that can give me an MLS number and I'll do that for your property. Can we do it for a sold one recently or no? Uh, yeah, give me the, the give me the MLS number. Okay, I'll give it to you right now, hold on. Who is one it second. by the way? Alma, sorry. Oh, Alma, hi Alma. Hey Ruben. <laughs> oh man, sorry. Six, this is Shirley, and I have another question. In your commercial presentation, in the example what you gave us, yeah. um, usually when we do the presentation for Moxie, we need to add it. When we add it, we add it, or the picture of the MLS, what they have, or we need to put our own picture. So I'm glad you brought that up. And I, once I get the, once I get to that part, um, you're talking about the actual picture for the MLS. Oh, so you're talking about when you do a commercial. Uh, uh, yes, I'll show you how to change the picture. So if you, okay, do, not change, if you do not change the picture, um, the picture will automatically pull in the first picture of the MLS, okay? Which is usually the front of the property and stuff. But in the, on the commercial, it's not gonna pull any of that data. So you have to actually take that picture and put it in and I'll show you how to do that. I'm glad and you brought that up. I'm glad you brought this up too, Shirley, because on a, on a side note, um, you know how it's a no, no to um, use MLS pictures previously used MLS pictures. Yes. I'm going on that one. Not for, you don't have to worry in this aspect because you're marketing it only privately only to a seller. You're not sending it and putting it on a public basis. So, so you don't have that threat. So you're, you're okay to use these pictures and stuff. It's in that case, like, like in your case, you use the video that Steve, you know, to put it on in your presentation and the pictures, you use his pictures. In that case, we're not, we would not be in trouble if we use the pictures of some other agent, like they put it on over there. Well, that video I used was authorized by Coldwell Banker. It's an actual Coldwell Banker video that uh, is available to any of your any of us through BrandServe, which again, BrandServe is going to be uh, obsolete and it's going to be marketing center. But uh, I pulled that off of our, our CB desk. Um, so it's an actual authorized video for uh, for you for all of our agents to use and stuff. But yes, it, but if you pull something from YouTube, that's public. So you don't have a threat. Anything that's on YouTube on uh, the, the public can view, there's there's no threat of, of copyright. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. MLS AR2301439. Okay. 
All right, so let's, uh, let me exit that. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to create new, right? Hmm. Create new. We're in Moxie right now. You want me to go from the beginning? Yeah. Okay. We all know how to get to here, right? CB Dev? Yeah. Okay, if you don't, you need to learn because if you're, especially if you're going to be attending our commercial classes. Uh, so again, I'm gonna go from the beginning. I open up a new browser, CB Desk. If, if you don't have it as a favorite like I do, it's right up here, mycbdesk.com, okay? mycbdesk.com. And then you go into Moxie, right? When you click, click on Moxie, again, Moxie is the suite, like Microsoft. And then inside the suite is Excel, PowerPoint, Word. So present is kind of like that app, like a Excel, call it, okay? Again, MLS, if you click on MLS and you do not see any of your credentials here, it's not gonna work, okay? You need to contact me and we'll, we'll figure it out, okay? You go to present. This is your dashboard, right? So you're gonna create a new one, right? And it's gonna ask you which one you wanna create. I'm gonna go over this into in another uh, session because there's no way I can do all these. But a property property review is just like you're just reviewing a property, kind of comparing it. It's like a CMA, but it's not really intended for uh, the purpose of winning a listing. A buyer tour is when you have, uh, let's say, five properties that you want to go look at, and you're scheduling them. So a buyer's tool, you can send a report similar to this, a presentation showing the buyer uh, each property that they're going to look at, uh, a little, you know, CMA for every property they're going to look at, and then also like a um, a route. We're going to look at this one at nine, this one at ten, this one at eleven, and it gives them a little map too, like a little agenda, if you will. Okay, and then the buyer, the buyer report is when the buyer says, "I want to, I want to buy this house. Let's make an offer." You know, most agents will never use this, but if you want to shine and you want to impress your buyer so that that buyer can refer you more business, do a buyer's review, a buyer review of the property. Hey, just I know we're making an offer in this house. I know your wife uh, and your, yourself are discussing it. Here's a re, here's a, a little market analysis on the property that you are thinking of of making a, a, a an offer on, and that's that's a phenomenal tool. And then the non-listing. That's a that's a very generic report that you have to build. So this is probably where you would do like the commercial one, where it doesn't have it's just branded for you, but it has no data, nothing. This is where you would put in all your PDF uh, reports, a presentation, and now it's branded. But for uh, today, we're going to do a seller. A seller is your CMA. Okay. Yes. Continue. I don't I don't mess around with these. These are broker templates, my templates. I just leave it leave it as broker templates and I continue. Okay. Prepare for who? Alma, you want to put your name? Yes, Alma okay. Aguilar. A G U I L A R, right? Yep. Okay. Create. Takes like a couple seconds for it to create. I'm going to put in the MLS. Now, remember, if you don't have an MLS number, like if I was to do one for my father, he bought it when I was two years old, you know, uh, I would have to put in the address, the state, the city, the zip code, the MLS area, um, the uh, property type. As much information as you put in there is what it's going to send to an MLS to bring in comps. So for you to create the report. Okay. But a pro tip is, Search the property on, on the web and more than likely there's been some activity for that house and you're going to be able to pull an MLS number. Pull in all the data, remove the agent remarks, and you're good to go. But for this sake, I'm going to put in the, let's see if I did it right. That's Alma's uh, MLS listing. 
Ferguson Drive? Yes. Okay. So I put that in. You see your remarks? I will take that out just because I'm going to send a report. Press continue. Now you're going to go into this is where you as an agent are going to do your due diligence. Okay. You're going to pick the best comps that you feel will will give the, the value that you want to present to your seller. Okay. What so, if it says no MLS on mine? What does that mean? Where is it? What do you mean? Oh, you're doing it the same when I'm doing it? I'm just I'm just following what you're doing. You you probably don't have your MLS connected. How do we do that? Call that guy Josh? No, you're gonna have to call me after and I'll I'll guide you. So if if you log on to this app and you do not have the MLS. So so Alma, none of these comps are showing up, right? Nothing shows because you have to pick listing source. It says no MLS. And then yeah. if you click the little thing down, like the scroll, yeah, so, it doesn't give so, you anything. Yeah. So if this is the case with any of the agents attending today, call me and I'll hook it up for you. Okay. It takes about uh, 24 hours. So if I do it today, you'll have it up and running on Monday. Alma, I'm, I'm going to go through this report for you right now, just so we can go side by side. But on Monday, it should be up and running. You could call me after you check, okay? Okay, thank you. So when you come here, um, you can you can sort by price, by bed and bath. There's filters here. Um, and then you can, let's just say, like, north of the 60 and this side of the five is a whole different world. It's kind of like Culver City and Beverly Hills. Let's say they're borderline, that's, you know? That's true. So then you don't want to do that, right? Because it's pulling comps outside the area. This comp right here is nowhere near the neighborhood of the star. The star is your actual property. So then what you're going to do is you're going to pick draw, quick draw. And give me only that's what's going to be in this area right here. There you go. So this is the neighborhood for a real CMA. So... Uh, this is where you would check. It doesn't have a lot of criteria. You probably have you probably have to go outside the area a little bit. But I was just giving you an example. If your house borders another city, mm -hmm. and and you you know you're not really giving it justice by using that comp because it's it's either inferior or superior to your house. Um, but for the sake of this, I'm going to just pick. Uh, let's just say uh, this property that's sold, and then there's one that's pending. Uh, let's say this one's active right here. And then uh, let's just do this one pending right here too. All right. And then we press continue. You could also do a radius. I didn't show you that. Maybe I'll go back and do that. Let's do that real quick. You could always go back. Mm -hmm. And instead of that, I'm going to do a radius. What is that half mile or what? One, see right here where it says your radius? Yeah. I'm doing, I'm using the phone. That's why I can't really see oh, that got well. It, got it. Was that a half mile you did or? 1.15. Oh, 1.1. Okay. Yeah. I was, I'm just doing an example. If you yeah, want yeah. to do, if you want to do less, you just go like this. This is half mile right there. You see what comes up. There's a half mile right there. Okay. Yeah. So let's go sold. Let's do that sold. We have that pending. Let's do this active I have. And then I have that. So give me the same comps. Let's go that mm -hmm. way. But when you do a radius, it might border that other city that I was discussing earlier. So that's mm -hmm. when you do a pin, that's more, you know, if you need to get to like crunch the numbers in a certain neighborhood, you know, then, then that's how you would do it. I like how you did the pin. Yep. Yeah, like where I live, where I, I mean, where I grew up uh, is Highland Park. So Highland Park, like neighbors like Herman or uh, even South Pass, a perfect example, Highland Park borders South Pass. And if I'm bordering Highland Park, uh, you know, it's going to give me comps in South Pass. So that yeah. way the pin, you can draw exactly where to stop the comps and stuff. Got it, so, got it. So this gives you, your your comps you know it says okay if, if i'm good with this you go forward continue and there's there's the value that it's it's actually uh uh 
you know, suggesting you, you can change it. Look, I could change it, say, oh, I'm going to do 725 because I want to market it better, you know, and do that. Um, but it gave you a suggestion, which was 755, I believe, right? Uh, what was the sale price on it? Alma? That'll work. What, Alma? Okay, she, she's not time, but let's go continue, right? And there you go. It says, so so I can I can go to more and I can assign it to Alma because this is her listing. But, you know, I'm just showing you how you could do a presentation. You can move okay, these around. Sorry, yeah. it, you can it, move it, these it, around. It, it, yeah, you can move these around. Or if you don't want your agent profile or net, I didn't actually do the net proceeds. So look, if you do net proceeds, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to do that. You just remove it. Now I'm going to show you how to add. Okay. Add a page. Uh, you can add from, from the library, but I'm going to do a create new. Okay. And then we're going to upload a PDF. And then we're going to go choose your file. Remember that one that I built, which I think I named it RP listing bio. Now, whatever you, this is also, whatever you name this, is what it's going to say on on the what on the report. Okay, so I'm going to op, I'm going to just add that. Whoops, there you go. Upload it. There it is. Now, I don't want this. I don't want this to be the last page, right? Because they they get lost. Just just so everybody knows. You don't want to make your presentation 50 pages. You want to keep it nice and short to the point because right around the fifth, sixth page, they're going to get lost. Okay. So you really want to put your bio at the very top. You could change it too. You could edit it. And then up here, I think, uh, how do you edit? Let me think about this. I'll figure that out and I'll send it to you guys. But you could you can edit the name as well. But you move it around. Now, if you want to add a video, oops, add a page, create new, build, you're gonna build it, right? And then you're gonna click whichever format you want it. If you wanted two videos or two links, you could even do links. See text image, video, and there's more, okay? But for the sake of this uh, cancel, whoops. We're gonna add a regular, build a page, create video. So the way you do this is you have to copy and paste a uh, URL. Oops. Where the is, URL of the listing, so it could give you the pages, I mean, the pictures, or what URL? Of whatever the video is going to be. Let me move this because I can't see where I'm at. Uh, let's see, right here. The URL is where, where you want to send. Uh, so I think I have right here, like, I got it from YouTube. So when you go to YouTube, whatever, whatever uh, you want to upload, like the video, that's the URL. So like if you go to YouTube and you're looking at a video, it's going to pop up over here. That's This is the URL for this page. Okay, okay Ruben, did you get those YouTube, uh, Cobalt Banker YouTube videos from the, I mean, the Cobalt Banker brand name YouTube videos? Is that no. how you did it? Let me show you how I did it. You go to, okay, I'm going to go into BrandServe right now. But huh? remember, BrandServe on the 28th of this month is going to be uh, 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 retired, okay? This is the new BrandServe, okay? You guys should explore it. But just so you know where I got it from, you go to BrandServe. And then I went to videos, right? Uh, let's say custom videos.
Oh, here we go. So I did this short one because I didn't want I didn't want it really long. But let's just say we want to do this dream campaign, right? Click on it, right? Let's do uh, uh, let's do this one. Looks pretty cool, you know. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? What would it be like? With today's home values, this is the perfect time to sell and make those dreams real. When you work with a world class agent at Coldwell Banker. You benefit from trusted guidance and a revolutionary seller's assurance program. Make your home sale more rewarding than ever. So it really is true. Your dreams don't have to be just dreams. But this brand would be your brand. If you wow. Could, okay. So if you wanted this one, you would download it. Uh, let's see. Make those dreams real. Uh, let me see how I forgot how I did it, but basically I'll show I'll, you right I'll, click. You right click. No. When you work with a world class agent at Coldwell Banker, you benefit from trusted guidance and a revolutionary seller's assurance program. Yeah, I, I let me go back to this. Try CC. Try CC. What's that? Yeah, try CC. No, it's a uh, it's a custom video because it's going to give. Let me see where it's fully. Oh, oh, you know why? Because I clicked on the actual. Uh, um, so it's this one right here and card customizable. Oh, oh, you know why? Because I have to click on this one. So dream campaign, right? And then how? To, oh, oh, here we go. Can you customize video? So this is what I want on it. Ruben Perez, my email, my license number, one, two, three, zero, nine, nine, two. And it's going to give me all that. Preview. And then by clicking. And I download it. Proceed with download. Edgar, you still on? Yes. Yes, Ruben. So can you, how do I get this down, this video onto YouTube? Oh, uh, you, you click on the little arrow on the bottom. You see on the, on, on, on you see how it's on your right, downloads? Uh, the bottom right. And then you click <clears throat> the little arrow up. Locate this file. Right here? No, on the bottom uh, left-hand corner. The little arrow. This one? I'll show you after. Uh, the bottom left, on you know, on the downloads? Yeah. Oh, I can't see it because it's, there you go. Oh, I couldn't see it. Yeah, and then you need to go to YouTube and, so you need to find out where the progress. Okay, well, that's, I'll show you guys uh, how to do that at, on a, the next session. We're probably gonna have to do a next session, but this is where you would get all your videos. So if you wanted to put this video on your on your report, you can. Where would it be? What would it be like? But you have to, it has to have a URL in order to send your client to that, to that page. So you have to download it onto YouTube, which I did. I put it onto our YouTube. It, who has a YouTube account here? Anybody? I do. Who's I? Alma? Yeah. <laughs> so if you log on to uh, Dash, uh, I'm sorry, uh, to BrandServe, and you download this video, custom video, and um, save it to your YouTube, then what you would do when you go to YouTube, you copy the URL and you put it right here. So I'm going to do this one right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Just for the sake, because I already have it on YouTube. And there you go. It's on there. You see? So now I'm going to uh, get rid of that. That's it. That's it. Save. And I'm going to put a name. Uh, I'm going to put uh, the Coldwell Banker Way. I'll just leave it like that.
So now if we go to the presentation, it should be there. Yep. So now let's let's review, let's let's take a look at how it's gonna look. Whoops, here. So this is your report, Alma, your presentation. Then it has why Ruben Perez. And then there's there's your video. And then I'm going to uh assign it to you, Alma. I'm glad you have access to all of us. And that's it, it's yours. It's it's not even in my, in my, uh, my dashboard anymore. It's in yours, Alma. So, so there's a lot of capabilities here. Uh, I'm not the greatest at tech. You know, I try to do my best. Um, there's probably a lot of more functions and I'm constantly learning. Um, and we're gonna go over all of these apps right here. So again, these are apps within the Moxie suite, um, but I urge you guys to use them because I know that the majority of the agents out there are not using anything near the presenta presentation level that that you have the capabilities of with these applications and stuff, you know. So, so I really urge you guys to use it. Um, uh, again, we're going to be going over engage, which is a free CMA uh, C uh, CRM for agents. Your website, every agent has a website, uh, so it's very easy to to uh, um, to launch it, to publish it, and also you can. Um, link up your reviews on Google or wherever your reviews are on and it'll automatically populate into it as well. So, um, uh, and then your agent, your, your clients can actually um, search the MLS through your website and stuff because it's linked to the website, remember. Uh, and then you have Impress, which is a, mar a marketing campaign for all of your, um, uh, for your listing. It'll, it'll give you a website for the property, it'll give you a virtual tour, it'll give you a video, it'll give you a, um, a, a package for your just uh, just listed, open house, just sold. So then you can print them, door knock, and it has it's all branded for yourself. I think, uh, Shirley, you're using that Impress pretty good too now, right? Yes. Yeah. What do you think of it? I love it. Yeah. I so, love it. It's very, very useful and help us uh, to to do the presentation very um, clear, uh, clean, elegant. Uh, you know, to present to the to the seller or to the buyer, to the prospect buyer. Yeah. And I have another question, Ruben. Um, someone asked if do we have a videos in Spanish or can we do? Because I'm trying to do the presentations doing Spanish. But I don't know if you know something else about that. What I recommend, Shirley, and I'm glad you brought that up because I totally forgot. I was, I'm not very good on, on camera. Um, I'm not photogenic and stuff, but Shirley, I would recommend you using a uh, an app. There's an app called BombBomb. Bomb. Um, think about this. I don't think there's any agent. Well, there are probably some, but if you put, if you create a video, right? Hi, hi, Shirley. Let's say you're my seller. Hey, Shirley, how are you? Uh, I'm excited to meet you uh, uh, next week. Um, uh, attached, you know, this is a presentation that we're going to go over, but I wanted to, you know, uh, briefly thank you for, for this opportunity, blah, 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 you know, whatever. Make a quick video with you with a nice background or whatever, and put that in the, and upload it into YouTube, and then put that into your presentation as the first thing that they're going to see. Now think of think about yourself as a client. When you open up, you get the email and you open it up and you see your potential agent that you're you're interviewing, you know, thank them for in advance for for their their uh, uh you know the opportunity to to uh, 
uh, for the listing and then go through this beautiful uh, listing presentation. I mean, I, I don't see how you can lose, you know, unless you're, uh, I don't know. But but to answer your question, Shirley, uh, you're very photogenic and you're upbeat. I would just create a, a personal video and put it in there, you know, or you could do a generic one if you wanted to do a, a professional setting and have someone professionally guide you through it and, and do one that you can use for all your CMAs. Hi, this is Shirley with Coldwell Banker George Realty. Uh, uh, thank you for choosing for, uh, um, you know, opportunity and the potential of, of working with me, but, you know, whatever, whatever they, you're going to put the content you're going to put into that video so that in turn that video you could drop into into this cma report and stuff i think that's a very powerful presentation that i don't think any other agent that you're competing with is going to be able to compete with you know my opinion but uh if i can get some feedback i mean that'd be great i mean one of the things that i want to create with these these meetings or trainings is is other agents input because a lot of people are scared to ask a question or not, you know, and, you know, I want to, I want agents to interact with each other of what works, what doesn't work and stuff. So, I mean, I don't know, Shirley, what do you think about that? Yeah, it's, it's a very good idea. Yes. I would try to do it. Thank okay. you. Um, did, uh, I hope it, I hope, I hope all you guys have got some value out of this, you know. You I, said it was called Bomb Bomb, B O M B O M. Yes, it, there's a small fee to it, but there's there's some there's some some free ones that you can use too. Uh, I think Canva has one too. Um, uh, you know, Christy Kennedy is coming. I think at on the twenty second of this month, and uh, we can bring it up to her too. But uh, a nice little clip. Per, uh, professional personal clip to direct it to your seller, I think it will go a long way. Um, but my point is this, use this app, okay? Customize it as much as you want, but use it. It's, it's a powerful tool. Once you get used to it, you, it's gonna take you minutes to, to create a presentation that might make the decision for a seller to hire you you know so so don't cut yourself short it's free i mean technically you pay for it through the franchise fee but you're not paying for it in addition to that so why not why not use it you know so that's that was my whole reason for for uh, uh for today's training is because i think a lot of these apps i think all of these apps up here present engage website and press especially website there's nothing for you to really do just launch it um, they're underutilized. All our agents, I think some of our agents haven't even logged on to, to any of these tiles and stuff. And these tiles are put there to help agents produce uh, and, and uh, um, uh, generate business. And if you're not using utilizing it, then then it's it's it really doesn't do any any good and stuff. So um with that, been, uh, anybody have any questions regarding this was a Moxie? great class thank you so much yeah, I, well, I have I, i've been using the, i have been using this uh, uh in a percent uh, to my client giving update to my client uh, every three months uh because they want to sell it probably in, in a year time so i updating me updating my uh my my, my same a and i use this uh percent moxic very 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 powerful uh, Jeff, did you get any feedback from your sellers as far as the quality of the CMA? Yeah, they love it. They love it. Yeah, yeah. so that's a perfect example. Uh, Jeff came to me um, uh, like maybe two months ago and said that he has a potential uh, seller that lives in San Francisco. They want to sell a place in, I think, Irvine and stuff. And, and it turned out that they wanted to wait a little bit. They're going to lease it for a year and then they're going to wait. So I told Jeff, I was like, okay, look stay top of mind so send them a cma letting them know that hey i know that you wanted to wait but uh i still wanted to send you the cma report so you kind of get uh, uh keep in keep in touch with with what's going on in the neighborhoods and i told him to do it every every two to three months 
not only is it going to remind the sellers that, hey, uh, Jeff is our guy once we're ready to sell, but it gives them an update to know if the, the values are dropping or there's good comps, maybe it's time to sell. And also, if there was another agent that was trying to get in the middle and, and try to win this, this uh, win their business, Jeff is on top of his game. He's, he's, he's doing what he needs to do, staying in touch with them, sending them the reports. And when it comes time to, li to list, he's got the listing. He already put in the work. So, and, and how long did it take you, Jeff? Now that you created the CMA, how long does it take you to update the, the CMA and resend them a new? 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So, but um, use it. Even if you don't have a listing a presentation, get a, get a small list, get a list of, Buy, uh, let's say two per day, get a list from your title company of potential sellers, you know, uh, uh, um, they have those listings and uh, they have the, the those farms, you know, as a matter of fact, we're having a, a continuation farm, I think next week, yeah, next Wednesday. So that's a perfect time to attend. It's a lunch and learn on February 15th. And we're going to be going over that. So, so part of your daily agenda could be to send these CMAs to, uh, Two, two potential uh, sellers a day and stuff, you know? At the very least, they're going to see your face and see what your capabilities are. And if you get used to it, it's going to take five minutes of your time and stuff. So um, I urge you guys to use it again. Any other questions regarding this? Or I also wanted to, to, to reiterate everything that we need to do for our commercial class coming up. It's very, very important, okay? Because... Um, uh, Jeff, we have almost a hundred and we have over a hundred attendees. Okay. So it's going to be, um, a very tight schedule for, for, for one hour as far as questions. Uh, so I want to make sure that, uh, everybody has their tiles and has the capabilities and has their designations. Uh, and we don't waste time with that because, um, uh, these classes are for you to learn commercial and not for the technicalities that we're trying to uh, prevent and stuff. So if you have any questions regarding your personal uh, account with for commercial, please call me. I want to take care of this in advance and not the day of, okay? Any questions? May I call you like right after this class? Yeah, who's this? Alma. Yes, Alma, you can call me. Thank you. Anybody else have any questions? May Hi, I Ruben. Call you, Ruben. I'm this sorry. Is, Hi, Catherine. I can I call you because I think I'm not set up to the MLS. I'll tell you what, because everybody's going to call me at the same time. I'm going to call Alma and then Catherine. Who else? And then Irma. Young Irma. Chen. Irma, who? Young Chen. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the both CBC desk and the CB desk. I don't yeah, but I mean, Ir which Irma was talking? Irma Diaz. AD. Oh, I'm sorry. Say that one more time. Irma Diaz. Oh, Irma. So you're you're not going to have these capabilities. Well, call me and I'll explain it to you. Okay. Perfect. I, I'm you. sorry. I'll call you after Catherine. And then who was the last person? Uh, young me. Chen. Uh, okay, it was me. Young Cheng. Young okay. Chen. Okay. Is that it? Can you include me too, uh, Ruben? Who is this? Buddy. Buddy. All right. I have Alma, yeah. Catherine, Franco, Irma, Yoon, and Buddy. Franco. Ruben, may, may I have a suggestion? Because, you know, um, I remember when I started with um, uh, doing Moxie, I have the same issue as Alma. And I believe most of the agents, we will have the same issue. Probably, you know, it's good uh, everyone at home trying to do it. And if they have the same one to send you an email for you can, you know, or where everything to, and for you can give an access to everybody for the MLS, for they can link the CV desk with the MLS. Okay, so what's going on in Arcadia, this is happening more in Arcadia than Alhambra. I think we got a hang of uh, Alhambra. The problem is, is that, Everybody's familiar with ProGold, right? Yes? No. No. 
Well, ProGoat is like the main uh, source of data and, and you're, you're supposed to have your MLS credentials in ProGoat because what happens is ProGoat sends that data to CBC Dash or Dash, okay? And if, if it's not in ProGo, then it's not gonna communicate to Dash. So even if I put your MLS credentials into Dash, it's next time it communicates with ProGo, it's gonna remove it. So here in Alhambra, we, we, may, we ensure that ProGo has the MLS credentials so that in turn it, it communicates with Dash. So whoever handles ProGo in, uh, in Arcadia, maybe someone could, uh, let me know who handles that. Uh, they have to make sure that the no one handles it. No one handles that here. It's Tuhan. I think Tuhan is the, who needs to do it because last time we spoke with Tuhan and Tuhan helped me to to is do that. Doug, is Doug on here at all, or or Peter? Peter, no. But but Ruben, are you able to help me though? Alma, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll help you. But but see. What I'm trying to do is instead of doing it individually, you know, I can I can fix this problem for everybody because there's a, in ProGold, if you don't put your MLS information in there, what's going to end up happening is not going to communicate to Dash. So ProGold is our database here. Okay. We need to send that data to Coldwell Banker Desk, which is corporate, right? And then that's how the MLS information goes into all of our applications. So that's that's what's missing here. And I'm trying to fix it. But yes, I can fix it for individuals. Alma, when we when we speak at Alma, Catherine, Irma, Yoon, Buddy, and Franco will we'll resolve these issues and stuff. But just know that if you log on to CB Desk and you go into Moxie, and if there's no MLS there, that means you're not connected and contact me and I'll resolve the issue. Okay. Oscar, good morning. How are you? Hey, good morning, Ruben. Good, thank you. A little good. bit. I just wanted to get your feedback on that too, because I know we created some presentations together. What do you think of them? They're really good. Yeah. Everybody should use it. Yeah, if you have a seller, make them, make them a nice, CMA and put in a little video or a little bio of yourself of why choose you. You're honest, you're hardworking, you know. I'm gonna I have all I have the Coldwell Banker brand name behind me. Uh, I have I can build you a website, which you're not. It's very, I mean, all you do is push publish, and that seller has a website for their property and stuff. Uh, um uh Shirley, you did that, you did a website for your property, your listing, right, Shirley? Yes. Yeah, it's it's and, and it's the seller's gonna yes. be, yeah, and the seller's gonna say, Oh my god, she she paid and 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 built a website for my property, which you really didn't, you know. But that seller is gonna tell another seller and another seller. So you can't really think of it as one dimensional, it's not just that one client. What you do for that client is gonna de de determine on your referrals. So so you know, why not wow that client? Like, oh my God, you have to use Alma for your net for if you want to buy or sell. She's 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 the best. And that's what you want to do. And that's how you're going to do it with these types of presentations and stuff. I guarantee you, Shirley, if you do that little video in front of your your CMA, they're gonna love it. They're gonna love it. So um yeah. I will do it. I will do, I I would try to to do to see how that works. And, and you know, Ruben, something else like that helps me a lot and I've seen it's working is uh, uh, with the presentation, uh, with, with the website, what I create, you know, you can add it even in Google. You know, too many people, I have a lot of clients, a lot of prospect uh, buyers who's coming, you know, and they found me in Google. And yeah. that's amazing. Yes, a lot of, of them, they're coming, not only agents, but, you know, they're coming clients and visitors that they pointed on um, mobile homes and, you know, they put it on the property, what I put it on, you know, on Google too. Yeah. We can upload yeah. over there too. Yeah. So the more pictures that you put on your, you're talking about your Google business page, right? Yes. The Google yeah. business page. If you have a listing, go put yourself a little checklist. Okay, um, Google, 
on Google. Uh, if you do a little video of the of the property, put it on YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine than Google. Google owns YouTube, but nonetheless, they're two separate um, uh, search engines and stuff. But people are always on YouTube. And then when 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 you if you have a buyer and you uh, when you hand them the keys, take a little video or pictures, put that on your Google, put that on your business page, put that on your on your uh, YouTube. Uh, uh, take a little video. If you're shy, take a video of them opening up the door for the first time, you know, and and you know, congratulating them or handing them the keys, which have whatever. It's all that content is what's going to get you recognition and get you traction. People love that stuff. You know, uh, put it on your on your Google business uh, business page, Facebook, Instagram, all of that. Just get get used to it. If you put yourself a little checklist, done, 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 done. It, it's the best thing for you. Okay. Any other questions before we? Uh, lastly, before we, I let everybody go. Listen, these trainings are for our agents. Okay, so if don't feel shy or, or or bashful. If there's something that you want to learn or you want us to go over, please let us know. This is we're not doing this for our health. We're doing it for you to give you support, to give you uh, motivation, to give you uh, uh, tools to to get more more business and and be better than your competition. So if there's anything that, that we can do to help you to do that, then let us know. Uh, uh, we encourage and, and, and welcome suggestions and stuff. And if we can help, we'll do it. Okay. Uh, Irma, you had a, uh, you, you had your hand up. No, we'll be talking in a little bit. I, okay. I was just wondering actually the um, bilingual um, videos for Spanish. I don't know if Cole Banker has any for branding ourselves. Um, I don't, I don't believe so. Uh, no. English. Yeah. So that there, you know, as an agent, you have to remember this is your self-employed. This is your own business. So, um, you're probably going to have to, uh, uh, invent, invent something and stuff, but you all have the capabilities. Yes. You, know, you, gotta, you guys all have pretty faces and, <laughs> and, uh, you're photogenic and stuff. So, Make a quick little video and stuff. Who knows? It might go viral and, and you might get a, a gig with Disney or something. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> um, go for it. You know, don't be shy. Just get out there and stuff. You know, I, I mean, I, I have to overcome fears too because I'm not very photogenic, but we all have to do it and stuff. It's it's the it's the new way of getting business and stuff. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, sorry, we took a little longer than anticipated, but uh, I really wanted to go over this with you guys. And uh, I'm very excited for you guys to uh, uh, enter into the commercial world as well. OK. Thank All right, guys. you, Ruben. You guys have a wonderful uh, Friday and have a nice weekend. OK. Thank you, Ruben. Thank you, Ruben. Thank Great. you, everybody. Bye bye. Good job, Ruben. Take care. Who's that, Jeff? All right, Jeff. Thank you. Good job. Ruben, I'm going to send you a text. In a okay, minute. thank you. Have a nice day now. You too. Edgar, can you stop recording? Yeah.